Oh, let me get that off that. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing, girl? Girl, I, <laughs> I am glowing. I'm glowing. Girl, I ain't pregnant. I'm just putting that out there. I ain't pregnant. I'm going because I'm happy. I'm in a good, soft space place in my life that I mean it don't make no sense but you see what I'm saying you see what I'm saying so y'all know how we do this is another chit chat I talk about what's going on in my personal life what I'm watching on YouTube and what I'm watching on on TV Hulu and we're gonna talk about some ratchet people up in these streets ciao y'all while we're doing this yeah, we're going to pass this through my hair. Now, right now, I'm looking real cute and heavily and Betty Crockerish like But we're going to go out to eat tomorrow. And when I, when I, you know, when we go out to eat, I want to look cute. You know, I want to let him know who the hell he... I want to let him know who the hell he married. Because, y'all, I'm losing some more weight. Let me show y'all. Y'all know I... <laughs> let me show me. Y'all, hold on, y'all. I don't wear no bra anymore. So you say, girl, look, look at this. Look at the fit, girl. I ain't got no butt, but yeah. I'm getting good, y'all. I'm getting good. Let me plug in this while I'm being semi-ratchet. How y'all been doing? I don't know, girl. I know. Did y'all get that? Hold on. I'm coming around, girl. Y'all, what did y'all think about that dang uh, national uh, uh, thing we got on October? We'll talk about it on October 4th. Ciao. It's on 390. Okay, it's on 390. So, yesterday what I did is, y'all see, it's all cute and up, up there. I could do a cute uh, 1890s hairstyle for you. Look at that length. Look, look, look at the health. I don't mean to brag, but look at that. This is just health, okay? So, what I'm going to do, y'all, I have a couple of videos I'm working on. And that's it. So, you guys, I am putting all this hair down, baby, so that I could just run a flat iron through it real quick. I got this big ass, I'm sorry, I got this big Hercules comb. We're just going to. Look, y'all, I'm so petty. When I was at the event, I have a couple of hairstylists in my family. Um, mostly aunts, right? And my sister's a hairstylist, too. Ooh, my hair kind of itch. Um, what's the point? So, I'm petty. I am. Let me turn this upper light on. I'm a little petty. So, my mama had a hope. First, first of all, this side of the family was my daddy's side of the family. And these people I mess with. Now, let me tell you the difference. By the way, this is a personal life update. Let me tell you the difference, differences in family. So, y'all remember a couple of months ago where I was super excited about going to my aunt's 70th birthday party. And she had like a 70s theme, right? I got this outfit, this cute, what am I trying, cat suit, baby. It was cute. It was cut down here. And since I got my titties done a couple of years, since I had a breast augmentation a couple of years ago, my breasts sit up nice, fine. And my sister and I were talking about it. My mom and I were all talking about what we're going to look like, all this and all that. And then my sister contacts me. I think it was like two days before the event. And she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I was talking to yada, 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 my cousin. And I told her, you know, about... Um, JB coming and she's like oh no no kids allowed and my sister was apologizing which I'm like it's not your fault that we got some ratchet ass <laughs> I said no it's okay yeah no no kids allowed but my sister kids can come so I sent my cousin a message and was like um I do apologize I, I was not aware that um no kids are allowed um you can go ahead and cancel my RSVP. She's like, oh yeah, no problem. Thanks, thanks so much for the update. Baby, when she said that, I was like, <laughs> oh, you watch your money. Even my mama was like, no, go ahead and come. It'll be okay, y'all. I'm doing, I should do, um, it's smoking, but it's so, let me turn it down some. Trust me, my hair isn't burning. It's the condensation from the, it's the oil. I have that serum on my hair. Case in point, the differences between some people, right? Black tie event. 
this past weekend, JB was going to be over my sister's house and her, <clears throat> she has an, a teenage daughter and the other little kids and she's going to watch them. Well, child, they were over there acting a plum for her son and he's younger. He's only seven or eight. He was playing with some juice and they got a little rub and poured the juice accidentally. JB, JB didn't like it. He was like, I don't, I don't know if I could do this. So <laughs> I picked him up and I was like, what the heck? What am I going to do with you? So I text messaged my cousin. I said, hey, I do apologize. Is it okay if I bring JB with me? Because um, again, we, we are classy black people. Classy, quote unquote. We always VP. When we do functions, we, you know. So I said, it's okay if I bring JB, yada, yada, yada. I even called her. She didn't answer because she's busy. She's getting she's getting a party together. I thought about it. I'm like, JB, please just go, baby. It'll be okay. Bitch. Like an hour later, she said, oh, no, girl, go ahead and bring him. We would love to see him. We got plenty of salad because <laughs> JB doesn't eat meat, right? She's like, hey, we got plenty of salad. Go ahead and bring him. That's all you have to say. I drove to the nearest, um, what do you call it? children's place got my baby a black top and the blacks and black slacks and we made it up there there was i had little cousins there too but and and some of my family got to see him and these are family members i hadn't seen you guys in like 15 plus years it's crazy it's crazy so that's the difference between getting it together you know what i mean so y'all anyway speaking of jb jb's doing really well in school I really do appreciate his teacher. She has been adjusting his schoolwork. Um, and this week was the first week where he was able to get everything done in advance to the point to where he had time to do his homework at school. And so I like to show my thanks to people during the time. I don't wait till teacher's appreciation week. I don't, I don't do that. I do it right then and there. So I went in yesterday morning and I just told her, you know, thank you so much for making those adjustments for him. Uh, basically, what she did is she she minimized the amount of work he had to do. Because it's a lot of work for fourth grade. And he's still getting used to it, right? And she's like, yeah, absolutely. I noticed that he's doing better. He's thriving. She said, now they're still talking. The kids, they're going to be kids. As long as they're not really, really showing out. But, yeah, I just wanted to thank her for that. What else, girl? Um... Girl, what did I put? Husband, hobby. You know what? <laughs> I'm just going to say this. Where is he at? My husband needs to get some some hobbies. Do y'all have quiet husbands that just sit at home and watch CNN? My husband needs to get some hobbies. I am I am his hobby. You can take that however you want it. I'm his hobby. Yeah, you... <laughs> no, we... we no. No, get, you need to do something to play and learn how to play spades. And, you know, I'm going to teach this ass how to play. <laughs> I'm going to teach him how to play spades. <sighs> but anyway, y'all. Okay, about that October 4th, girl, that scared the heck out of me. The first national broadcast that we all got on our cell phones. And we know, well, some of us do. I try to ignore it. My husband's like, yeah, this stuff going on with... Russia and the Ukraine, it's not letting up. I said, you know what? You ain't saying nothing but a thing. I need to look at my passport. He's like, there ain't nowhere to go. <laughs> there ain't nowhere. I said, you right. God God got me everywhere. There ain't there. So the, I think that, you know, y'all, things are going to be getting crazy. And, and that that sh shocked me to receive that notification. I thought it was an Amber Alert at first. And I was like, what the heck is this? So... Anyway, um, let's just go right into stuff I'm watching on YouTube because it kind of has to do deal with just some some gossip stuff, celebrity stuff. So are y'all noticing, because I go back and I read the stuff on YouTube, are y'all noticing all of the celebrity breakups that are occurring? I mean, we always knew that to a certain degree. Hold on, y'all. We always knew to a certain degree that some of that stuff would happen. But I mean, like, this week alone, or like in the past two weeks, it has been absolutely crazy the amount of drama. Tamar and her boyfriend, or excuse me, well, yeah, boyfriend, fiance, broke up. I think they were together for how long? Eight or nine months. He shared it on social media, Instagram or something. Yeah, we're no longer together. I'm like, child, 
you gotta really announce all that stuff. But anyway, you know, I guess so if you're in the public eye. Um, child Joshua Jackson, what's his name? Is his name Josh? Yeah, is it Joshua Jackson? Basically, uh, Dawson's Creek Bay. Um, and his beautiful wife filed for divorce. He has a huge glow up, glow up. Joshua, I think it's Joshua, Joshua Jackson, yeah. And his wife is Jody. I'm a bit surprised by that because to me, they seem like a power couple without the fetish of a black and white couple. Y'all know what I mean by that. That's no shade, but to a point, especially on the social media sites, there can almost be a fetish of, and this and this black women and white men almost like a fetish fetish couple yeah they're divorced and it's really 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 sad girl let's get into this crap i really i like to sing it you know just to know what's going on but sometimes i really don't be paying attention to a lot of stuff if it's annoying me this sec sexy red stuff y'all let me see how i need to, i need to have my ends trimmed again sexy red sexy red is a rapper and i don't listen to a lot of music nowadays i mean i hear some stuff on the on the radio yeah, 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 but i don't even know who people are i really don't because i don't be paying attention but she sings raps the song pound town first of all the song is called pound town and then there's one that is called eggplant let me tell you something we're going to get to we're going to get. First of all, let me let me just go back into the, the fact that I don't listen to this type of music. Um, what was the first song I listened to? The first th song I listened to was not Pound Town. It was The Eggplant with another young lady named Lotto. Big Lotto. It's a Big Lotto or Lotto, light skin girl. And I know she got that song um Drop it to the floor, something like that with Carter B. Y'all, I, I sound like an old person because I am. She's very crass. Finish off in me, spank my butt, uh, pull the rubber off and splash it on my butt. I'm like, I was literally listening to this music like I listened to Pound Town. I couldn't even get through it. I, I, I listened to the first minute of it and I was like, this is this is this is straight up bullshit. Baby, I felt like I had to drink a whole bottle of bleach just to get clean. Like, I felt dirty. These kids are listening to that crap, too. And yes, we had our little Kims and Trina and T-shirt and my panties on. We had all that. But even like what lovely T.I. said, we had other artists, artists to balance it out. Not only that, we had... R&B, that Faith Evans, we had Tevin Campbell, girl, I'll tell y'all shade, Tevin Campbell, we had Faith Evans, we had Lauren Hill, we had Mary J. Black, I can love you, I can love you, but with her, you know, in her boots, not dancing right, we had the balance of that, and we just had two, Trina, Little Kim, and of course you had your certain areas where you had Gangsta Boo, Memphis, you had Jackie O down in Florida, but here, I mean, there's Lotto, a Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, a whole uh, tribe of gremlin ass city girls, and they all are just crass and nasty. And I'm pretty sure it's the same thing with the rappers, with the men. It gets to the point. I guess a sex tape of Sexy Red has leaked out on her Instagram. And she said that she's embarrassed and all this. And this is why I introduced Jamie to Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Child, my baby needs to go, my baby needs to uh, get into the 2023. He'll be okay though. Child, yes, that's going on. I talked about all the people that are divorced and all this. What did I have here? Um, girl, let's just jump right into it. It gets gets on some stuff that's cleaner and better. Uh, so yeah, y'all, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm watching on YouTube. Is catching up on all the tea, looking at all that. I'm not even gonna get into the Steve Harvey stuff and his wife. I find that when people front a lot on social media. And I don't, what are you doing all that for? I think that his wife was cheating on him. How you get her is how you gonna lose her. Is that what, is that what they say? That whole saying? Is that what they say, y'all? So, 
it's been rumors that she's been cheating yada 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 just a mess about that what do y'all think about that just a mess girl a mess y'all i'm going through this fast because i got all this other side of my hair i need to do um okay y'all so what i'm watching um i am watching movies wise i saw a new movie on is it on hulu called you can't escape really good it is not what you expect again it's called you can't escape um very interesting very you know what i'm not gonna i'm not gonna flat out in the ends i'm gonna leave that alone okay because this hair is not supposed to be straight it's not Like, I know those ends are horrible, but how does it look? Huh? Reptile. It has that fun. Uh, he played in the scholar dad, dad, dad. Girl, I'm saying the name my wrong. Blalicio del Taco. He cute. He's older now, but he's still cute reptile and it also has alicia silverstone yeah I, I live for alicia alicia silverstone and i love her instagram it's very very earthy a h s new season it has kim kardashian and of course emma roberts and it's called delicate spoilers i'm on episode two i don't think i'm good i'm, I'm not gonna be able to do it i'm not gonna be able to do it I say that now i'll probably watch uh episode three and still still continue to to pray about it i don't know what the theme is do y'all know what the theme is i don't know is it spiders is it witches i don't know it's kim kardashian's face i'm not gonna talk about stuff like that because she well, she can't control that because she's the one that's doing it but i'm not gonna talk about that i'm not gonna be shallow like that it's just her, I will say this. Say something nice, Vivian. Her acting is better. That it, 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 No, seriously, it is. Her acting is better. I just cringe. And I thought when they said Kim Kardashian, no, my dumb ass should have known. If, it's, if she's in the headlines, she's going to be in more than one episode. I'm thinking, okay, she's going to go come toward the last four or five episodes. Girl, no. She's she's cause she's a she's like a what a PR agency person on the um series. I'm like for Emma Roberts, who's a movie star. I'm like Ryan Murphy. I need for you to get a better storyline than this because. But it's on. It's there. I'm watching it on Hulu. It's called Delicate. I'm gonna try to get through it. Archive 81 on Netflix is still such a mystery and I'm not sure what it's really telling, but I am here for it. I love series like this. Um, Only Murders in the Building, y'all. This series is such a goofy, again, this is on Hulu too. It has Martin Short and Steve Martin. And I think they are both pretty active in the writing and directing. Girl, I must be doing my hair. Y'all see how y'all do? I think they both are pretty much in the acting. The Selena Gomez is in it too. They are so funny. And Meryl Streep, who I absolutely love, is in this particular season. And what is his name from um, Fort Forrest Bueller? Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Matthew Broderick. Matthew Broderick makes a, a good cameo. And that's what I love about this because Martin Short and, and the other one... <laughs> There's some big hitters, okay? So they can pull this type of type of weight, you know what I mean? Steve Martin, definitely. Um, they can pull this type of weight and get these type of people on the show. And so I think it's absolutely hilarious. The Changeling. When I tell you I am so invested in this show, I am on episode four. Spoiler, I'm not going to give a lot, but they need to do like a trigger warning on this. There is some... It's a, it's a murder mystery. It's thriller, horror, horror. I have no idea what this show is about. I don't know if this is about some fairy tale shit. As fairy tale stuff, excuse me, y'all. I don't know if this is giving me like boogeyman, mythological creatures, witches. I don't know. Monsters. I think it's a combination of a, of a couple of things. We're going to pull this up, y'all. 
There we go. We're gonna pull this up and we're gonna twist it going this way. You see that? Um, so, but look, he's fine ass is in it, so I'm invested, right? I'm on episode four. Like I said, they need to give some disclaimers because <clears throat> it's a bit much. It, it, it is a bit much. Um, when I mean like suicide, murder, um, SA, meaning, um, no, 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 DA, domestic assault, hit heavy. All right, for this one, we're going to. Uh -uh, we're not gonna do that shoot it's coming loose no 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 come on come, no 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 so y'all aren't talking to y'all messed me up hold on yeah again it's called the changeling um and i'm loving it i, I really am but Keith is weird, child. I didn't realize he had all those kids. I thought he had just one child. Where the hell he get three kids from? Three babies. Now, I'm putting that back. I know a couple of years ago, one of the baby mamas outed him for basically saying he doesn't take care of his kid. He doesn't seem like the type, but that's the Keith I fell in love with online. That's probably not. Ooh, child, that's big. Let's push that down some. <laughs> that's a bit much. Yeah, let's let's tone it down some. Ooh. Something to talk about. All right. This is going to be my hairstyle for the day, y'all. What time is it? Girl, you got time. I'm going to go around to my husband and be like, hey, um, I got some stuff in my Instagram cart. Girl, I could flirt. With my husband. Let's be clear with that. I need to tone this down. But it's okay. I'll be like, hey, um I put on I put on the southern not Paula Dean, but like Blanche. Hey honey. I got some stuff in my Instagram cart. Hell y'all may want to uh, cash in my Instagram <laughs> not Instagram, Amazon. Yeah, this is cute, y'all. This is cute, y'all. That's it, y'all. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.